welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining me. Now this video I've been sitting on for a while, wondering if I'm going to post it or not. <laughs> because frankly it's kind of controversial. Um, and I just wanted to post this because I was doing a personal experiment. I've heard a lot about ibotenic acid and muscimol and the Amanita mushroom and wondering what is it like to have a raw mushroom, a raw Amanita mushroom. And I've heard, you know, horror stories of people having seizures and um, just having, you know, convulsions, uh, stomach issues. And I'm pretty curious, maybe maybe a little too curious. So I decided to eat a raw Amanita muscaria gasawii mushroom. And that's what the rest of this video is. So I recorded this months ago, back around Halloween. And now it's um, a few days after Christmas, before New Year's. And I just decided that I am gonna post this. And it's not about me or my reputation or my business. It's just about detailing my personal experience. I encourage you to watch till the end, until you uh, comment um, saying, you know, why'd you do that, you fucking idiot? <laughs> or whatever you want to say. Um, you know, I, I learned a lot through this and I'll share that along the way as you watch. Uh, also, in this experiment, I took half of a raw mushroom and ate it, and I dehydrated the other half. They're exactly the same weight, and I made a tea out of the dehydrated half uh, about four days after I ingested the first half, and it was a completely different experience. Now, this is, if you've had Amanita mushrooms, you probably ordered them dry and you made a tea or something like that and that's the experience most people know. It's going to be pretty pleasant, pretty mild. It's going to have very little ibotenic acid and that's what I experienced with the other half of this mushroom. Now the first half which I ate, which you're about to watch uh, me eat it and my experience with it, um, you know, it just really highlights the variance of experience that you can have with one single Amanita mushroom. Every mushroom varies from uh, forest to forest and even mushrooms that are growing side by side can have wildly different amounts of muscimol and ibotenic acid. And that's why it's really important uh, to tread cautiously and to know your body and to know your limits. And I've had a lot of experience with this Amanita mushroom, so I felt like I could really take a, take a deep dive. And all things considered, I think it was a fairly average dose. I think my body didn't really respond to it very well at first, but the rest of the day it was pretty all right. So. Thank you for listening to this intro, and without further ado, here I am, a few months ago, enjoying a raw Amanita mushroom. And one last thing, this goes without saying, do not try this at home, do not consume Amanita mushrooms, do not put this mushroom in your eyes ears, nose, mouth, anus, or any other orifice of your body. I am not advising anyone consume Amanita mushrooms, raw, dry, or any extract. This is not for human consumption, and this is only a journaling of a personal experience that I have had. All right, so I just ate uh, fresh Amanita muscaria gasaui. Um, I ate half of this cap. This is <clears throat> pretty fresh cap, unveiled. 
Uh, it's not dropping spores. And the whole cap weighed 27 grams. Uh, that's wet, so a lot of mushrooms, it's about 10% um, dry weight to wet weight. So I ate about 13 grams. So it's about 1.3 grams dry. And uh, there's been a lot of debate on uh, the problem with eating them wet and dry. Traditionally, people say, don't eat it wet, uh, it's poisonous, has a large amount of ibotenic acid, um, but it seems that the amount of ibotenic acid is uh, poisonous in depending on the dosage. So uh, small amounts may be medicinal, large amounts can be toxic or poisonous. So I just ate 13 grams and uh, we'll see how I'm feeling in a little bit. Um, I just ate it like 10 minutes ago and I I don't know if I feel it already, but I feel something, like I feel a little speedy. Um, yeah, actually I think I'm definitely feeling something right now. Like I feel red, I feel flush. My face feels like tingly um yeah we'll see i'm gonna go meditate <laughs> i'll definitely be updating so i'm trying to sit here and meditate and uh it's proving a little difficult i'm gonna try to keep meditating but um my mind is a little nervous about what i just ingested um <clears throat> whenever i recorded that last clip um I felt like it was just kicking in, which was kind of surprising to me. It was about 15 minutes into me taking it. Um, right now I'm experiencing, you know, a, a little bit of um, stomach queasiness and um, just heightened energy. Like I feel a little speedy. Um, I keep burping. Um, and I can feel tingly energy on like the outer surface of my skin, like my scalp and um, like the outside of my arms, the outside of my shoulders. And uh, it kind of feels like my body is, um, like my nervous system is really stimulated. So um, I just woke up from a really deep sleep. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep the night before. So, my physiology may not be prepared for this, but for some reason I decided to do this. So we'll see how it goes. So right now I'm about uh, 25 minutes in and uh, I'm gonna just try to sit here and breathe and uh, drink some tea. And I did this on an empty stomach um, and the caps were picked fresh yesterday. So we'll see how it goes. Oh. Well, I just uh, vomited. <laughs> My stomach was feeling queasy and I was burping and I could feel waves of nausea. Um, and so I eventually I just knew it was coming up. <clears throat> so I ran and uh, puked in the sink. And um, I didn't puke up a whole lot of mushroom material. It seemed like it was mostly water and tea. Um, but I feel a lot better now and, uh, I'm definitely feeling the effects still, um, but it's not as overwhelming. So I'm going to try to sit here for the rest of this time and, um, meditate and experience the effects. It's all, uh, an experiment. Luckily I only ate like that half cap, um, and the hard part is <clears throat> with these mushrooms that uh, they can vary in uh, potency. And uh, I probably should have started with a quarter of a cap, um, but I've, I've heard of people and seen people eating more um, of the European varieties. So uh, the Omnium muscaria, the red ones. So, um, yeah.
we'll see how the rest of this goes. This is all an experiment, so thanks for watching. <laughs> all right, so I'm about 40 minutes in, and uh, I just puked again. Uh, I really didn't want to this time, but apparently my body did. Um, it's interesting. It's like kind of feels like the effects are going away a little bit every time I puke. I don't know if it's um, mental or what. <clears throat> and when I puked this time, it was all water. There was no mushroom material. Um, so they're definitely still in me. Um, right before I puked, I was feeling like that tingly buzzing all around the outside of my body it was like turning into, it felt like light rays, like energy. Um, emanating from me or coming into me but it felt amazing um like it was like a full body tingle massage or something or i don't know but <clears throat> um yeah i really didn't want to puke this second time but um you know i'm just trying to roll with what my body needs um it seems like it doesn't really want water in it Although I want to keep drinking water. Okay, I'm about a, an hour and 10 minutes in. And um, my stomach doesn't feel nearly as bad. I decided to not drink any water this time. Because um, it seemed like that was the issue. So I'm um, just letting the mushrooms do their thing in my belly. And uh, I have a sense of euphoria and I feel very tingly all over and filled with energy, um, but also very peaceful. Um, I just feel like my nervous system is very stimulated and it's not a bad thing. Um, the first clip I was like, whoa, like it was, <laughs> it's funny cause it I was like, I'm going to do a little video and it, kicked in like right whenever I was talking. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. I feel a lot better now. Um, I'm going to keep meditating for a little bit more. And um, yeah, it's weird. I, I think about like, you know, oh, you get like a little bit of nausea and then I'm like, I just want to lay down for until this is over. And then I'm like, the next minute I'm like, I can't wait to start working today and like cleaning the house. And then it's followed by like a sense of like overwhelmed by like all the mechanical things I have to do. But, um, you know, it's all coming in waves and I'm just taking it in as it comes. And I mean, I feel a lot better. I, I'm looking at myself and I look a lot better. I'm not as worried or nervous and, um, uh, I'm not drinking water right now, probably for another little while. And, uh, yeah, I'll just <laughs> keep making little updates when I can. Thanks for watching. All right, so it's about an hour and a half in, and I'm starting to really feel amazing. Um, I've been meditating this all the time. This last half hour, um, I set my alarm to meditate for one hour, and, uh, it felt like a couple minutes and it's been 20 minutes. And um, this happened to me um, last week. I took some Gasawi eyes uh, in a tea. I took three grams and uh, made a lemon tech. Um, I pounded the mushrooms in lemon juice in a mortar and pestle. And then I boiled them for like probably 20 or 30 minutes and drank that tea. Um, I proceeded to take a bath and I was in a deep trance and the trance felt like maybe 10 minutes and it ended up being an hour. I was sitting in the bathtub and just my eyes closed, like totally blissed out. And I just realized that I was experiencing something very similar, um, right now. And uh, I'm having a much more enjoyable experience. Um, it seems that a lot of different psychedelics have uh, an initial period of 
you know, maybe purging, vomiting, um, you know, getting sick. Um, and it's just your body adjusting to that medicine and, um, kind of letting go of some stuff that maybe, uh, you need to energetically. Um, I'm <clears throat> having very interesting thoughts in my mind, uh, basically having conversations with my organs and my body as if they were living beings of a house, um, like different rooms of a house and different people in that house and uh, actually conversing with my body and asking it where the um, Amanita mushroom has reached. Like, has it made it to you yet? <laughs> like talking to my liver. It's really interesting, but um, I'm super blissed out, uh, feeling really good. Um, I'm going to continue to not drink water for a little bit. Um, although I do have a bit of a headache probably from vomiting. Um, it just seemed like the water kind of really made my stomach upset. So I'm all blissed out with Bella here. Bella. She's not amused. Anyway, um, I'm going to go about my day. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is start some Amanita Muscaria tincture so I can fill uh, the rest of these orders. Just wanted to be real. I mean, I'm probably going to post this. I'm still not sure yet, but um, I just wanted to be authentic with what this mushroom is about and my experience with it. It's uh, a very sacred mushroom and I'm um, super grateful to have it in my life. You know, eating it raw has always been a, a curiosity of mine. And I was, I literally put that mushroom in the dehydrator and I was like, I don't know how long the season's going to go on for. This may be my last one. And uh, it looks pretty nice. <laughs> so I almost ate the entire thing. And uh, I'm really glad I didn't. Um, I was fine with half. It seems like the worst of it's over. And now I'm in really enjoyable space. So it's about a little over four hours later. And um, I have basically just fasted all day. Um, starting to get a little hungry. I'm not sure if I'm going to eat or not. Because I don't really know how my stomach's going to be. But... I feel amazing. I've had a really amazing day. Um, my brother called me, I talked to him, I just had like a really good conversation. Um, and so I definitely had some liquid in me. I, I uh, didn't throw up all my water, but I had to urinate. And I remembered in all the myths about Amanita, um, there's some urine drinking involved. I don't know if, if people eat Amanita and then they drink their own urine or they drink the shaman's urine or they're drinking reindeer urine or reindeer drinking reindeer urine. I don't know, but I'm already doing um, urine therapy. I drink my urine every day. So um, I had already had my urine for the morning, but I decided to drink this urine because I knew that the Amanita mushroom would be processed through my body. And um, about 20 minutes after that, I started to feel really good again and not in a, um, not in like a too, too heightened way, but just, just pleasant, just calm, peaceful, um, also joyful. And um, yeah, I'm definitely a little energized. I think this, if the berserker thing is true with the Amanitas um, being what the berserkers ate I think they definitely ate them raw um, I could not imagine wanting to go into battle uh, after drinking some Amanita tea that's been decarboxylated uh, I think I would probably want to just meditate or go into a trance but you know I think that uh, whatever amount of ibotenic acid I had was just right, but maybe if I had a little bit less, and next time I'm going to try to do it without drinking any tea or water, because um, I think that just kind of made it worse. As soon as I stopped drinking 
um, water after the second time I puked, I started to feel a lot better. Um, just a dry stomach. And uh, with this urine, it's been hours later, and uh, you know, I drank this urine about 20 or 30 minutes ago, and I'm feeling really good. So, yeah, still wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Can't do that. All right, so it's about six hours in to, since whenever I took the Amanita, and um, I'm feeling a lot better. I ate some oatmeal um, and banana, and I ate my usual breakfast. I just ate it at like two o'clock, and um, I really needed that. It was good. Uh, it kind of grounded me a little bit, uh, but I'm definitely still under the effects. Um, I feel really good. Like I feel, I feel very at ease. I feel very content. Um, I've been doing some work, you know, filling orders, um, making phone calls. I feel like, I feel like a little drunk. I don't want to say that, but I'm going to say that, um, cause it's, it doesn't do it justice. Cause it like, to me, drunkenness is like, like I'm going down like, Oh yeah, I'm drunk. But this feels like a creamy, dreamy blissful trance and um you know i've had a body buzz all day just like feeling really good the only hard part was the first um honestly the first hour that was it after i got through that it was great and i'm having a great day just awesome things are happening i think i'm gonna go drive around and look for more amanitas and um yeah, just want to keep reporting back, and um, thank you for listening. Thank you for being curious. Continue being curious. It is really good. Um, it's the way we're supposed to be. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? So it's two days later, about 48 hours uh, after I took the fresh Amanita cap. I'm alive and well. And I live to tell the tale. Um, just wanted to do a recap on my experience after I had some time to think about it. And uh, so just, you know, starting from the beginning, um, you know, I did have a difficult first hour. I vomited twice and I basically was required to have a dry stomach until my body had digested the mushroom. Um, and after that, it was pretty much smooth sailing. I probably had a little bit of stomach queasiness for the first two hours in general. And then after about three hours, uh, I was able to drink water. And I think I had food about four hours afterwards. And it was totally fine. Didn't have any stomach queasiness. And after the first couple hours, my experience was very pleasant. Um, even during the first hour, I mean, it felt a little intense with all the, like the nerve stimulation. It felt like on the outside of my body, like my peripheral nervous system was <clears throat> highly activated and, um, you know, not the most pleasant thing. It was, you know, very stimulating and it came on very quick. I mean, it was 15 minutes after I took it. Um, so would I do this again? Maybe, um, definitely would do it again on a smaller dose. Um, so I took 13 grams wet. Um, I weighed the other half of the cap after I dehydrated it. It was 1.3 grams. So I was accurate, uh, with the 10% of the wet weight to dry weight. Um, I would like to eat that other half of that cap and see what happens. See if it feels more like a, a potent, um, uh, muscomole effect, uh, like in a tea. Um, you know, I have a good baseline for, you know, what a couple grams or three grams feels like. Um, you know, it's, it, it does vary though. Uh, every mushroom has varying content of muscomole and abitinic acid. Um, so it's hard to actually say that I have a baseline. 
but uh, I think that you know 13 grams wet for me was just probably too much um, maybe because it was my first time I do puke on other things but um, I pretty much have a, a strong stomach um, so I think that if I were to try this again I'd probably try like two and a half grams or five grams of a wet mushroom and uh, just feel that out I would definitely do it on a dry stomach or at least no food um, so yeah that was my experience um, so I wanted to say uh, I felt very open and uninhibited whenever I was having conversations with people throughout my day like I said my brother called me um, I had to run some errands. I went to the post office, ended up talking to the post office lady for a while, ran some errands, ended up talking to um, my my uh, alcohol supplier for a while and just hung out at his distillery for like an hour. And I just felt very at ease and content and that I was not in a rush. And, you know, is this a functional thing that somebody can do on every every day? maybe on a smaller amount, um, maybe in a controlled manner where they know how much ibotenic acid and musk and mold are consuming. The way that I did it, luckily I have a loose schedule and I was able to just ride it out. Um, you know, I, I would definitely try probably like two and a half grams and see how that goes. And, um, you know, maybe I wouldn't puke and maybe I'd be able to you know, integrate it pretty well right off the bat. Um, but yeah, that was like the, the highlights were feeling open, uninhibited, uh, feeling joyful, content, and at ease. Um, not feeling anxious, not feeling depression, not having any symptoms of psychosis or neurotic thinking or intrusive thinking. And, um, even whenever I was nervous at first, it was just, I felt, I felt like it was going to be okay. And, um, yeah. So anyway, can't recommend this. Don't try it at home. Don't ingest Amanita mushroom and, uh, you know, do your own research because I'm just one person and everybody's different and, um, your body's going to be different than mine and, each mushroom is going to be different from each mushroom. So you need to uh, tread cautiously into the realm of the knowledge of the Amanita mushroom. So thank you for joining me on this journey with me. And if you would like to see more videos, uh, please give me a like on this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll know whenever I post new videos. Um, I do plan on releasing more content probably going to get a nice camera at some point soon so that I don't have to be doing this on my cell phone. And I intend to release videos about Amanita and other mushrooms, tinctures, homesteading, farming, foraging, um, probably some lifestyle and health stuff and possibly uh, yoga. You know, it's I, uh, I'm very ambitious, but it's hard to actually <laughs> do all these things. Um, and I'm running a business as well. So, you know, all in good time. But if there's anything you want specifically, you know, it'd be nice to see what my listeners are looking for. Um, that kind of probably would help me a lot. So anyway, thank you all and have a happy Halloween. Actually, I will be posting this after Halloween, so I hope that you had a good Halloween and that you're safe and spooky. All right, talk to you soon. Peace. And whoa, like my face feels like tingly.